welcome to another episode of the Torchlight Let's Play, this time from within the crypt, brought to you by Blind Warrior Gaming. This is Holy Virus, and I am still playing the Alchemist on the hard difficulty in Torchlight 1. And we're going to go ahead and continue on through the game. So we try to find our way down to the second floor of the crypt. On our way down to the Overseer's Library as we are in search of a cure for our Ember Corruption. It's been a little while since I've done a playthrough here on Torchlight since I had that last video that had gotten botched up. Oh, we are definitely under attack now. Let's get uh, some minions out here. guys. Let's go pick up our loot. Found some gold here. And a lever of some kind. I'm wounded. those guys after me or what? Jeez, that was interesting. Okay, so let's uh, let's collect our spoils here. Alright, my friends, I had a little bit of a video issue, but that has been resolved. Um, we're going to go ahead and continue on. I did gain a level, um, and we're going to go ahead and attend to my talents here. Let's see what we've got. We're going to go ahead and put into my magic, because if I remember correctly, the last time I leveled, I put too many points into defense. And I think I ended up hurting myself a little bit in terms of casting ability. So, let's go ahead and put in a bunch into magic here. take a look at our talent tree and see where we want to go here. Uh, we're going to stick with casting because, you know, arcane is just a beautiful thing. Uh, let's see, how do we want to do this? this ability do? Magical weapon expertise. Mastery of weapons reduces. Oh, this is really nice. It reduces the requirements of rings and amulets and makes you better with the weapon. Very nice. 
increase. Increases 4% magic weapon damage. That's even better. We're definitely going to go ahead and put one into this. I think that's going to end up being real important to us. We're also going to put another into the ice bolt here. Alright. Let's go ahead and continue on. I spent enough time working on the level there. As we try to find our way down still. I can't say enough about how much I like this wand. I, I really can't. This is this is a cool weapon. Let's pick up those potions. Bless us shit out of those guys. Yeah, this is really conserving me on potions because I'm not I'm not running out of mana and it allows me to sustain myself much better. Well let's see what we got here. Let's pick up that potion. little imp, that's really helpful. Let's recharge him. Oh, I got killed. So, uh, yeah, I will be right back after uh, getting back to the spot. Okay, so here we are where we left off. This time... Let's not die. Okay, let's uh, back off here a little bit. Insufficient mana. We got ourselves a bunch of loot here. Let's get this stuff picked up. What is this? Oh. Okay. Some sort of armor. I'm not sure what it is. A dead adventurer with some loot. So apparently anyone who's really come into these mines usually doesn't come back alive. I mean, at least from what I can gather. Finding all these dead adventurers and their bodies and the loot that they had and the equipment they had, you know, it's very similar to Diablo in that nature. And then we have the treasure chest here. Let's go ahead and loot this up. Good number of potions. That'll save me some coin. And let's move on. Back down the stairs.
let's see, we've got some more things here that we can obtain. Some more loot. Another treasure chest. We're going to have some good loot to go through later on when we do the loot video um, at the end of this floor. My help. Oh, and I just got killed again. Alright, so we're back roundabouts where I died. And we're already under attack again. Looks like we got ourselves a boss. Yeah, these guys are nasty. I really don't like this mob. when they hit you, they hit you, and they hit you hard. My health is low. Nice, we got him, and he dropped a crap ton of loot. Some healing potions. A charged scepter. Another healing potion. Alright, let's continue on. That that was some good loot there on that guy. The Charged Scepter could be better than the wand I'm using, so we'll definitely check that out here uh, on the next floor. But I want to make sure that we're completely out of danger before I start looking at loot. So let's find our path and where we need to go and continue on. Let's go ahead and get up these stairs. My health is low. Crud. That spell's just going right through him. Definitely putting out the hurt on these guys now. My health is low. Oh, damn. Alright, so we're back at the area where I died again, and this is just frustrating the hell out of me. I'm really getting tired of dying. They are kicking the crap out of my dog. Oh no, we got another boss. 
boss. Totally going to die again. Because I put myself in a bad spot. Let me get the hell out of there. Let's back out. Get to a safe spot. Your pet has to be my pet back to town and uh, we'll be back in just a moment uh, I have something that I have to take care of here real quick and then I'll resume recording as soon as I'm done okay I've taken care of what I needed to take care of here real life wise and my pet is back I've made some gold from the stuff that I sold and we're gonna go ahead and continue on here we're gonna heal up get some extra hit points in me and uh, see if we can clear that area out, because that was brutal. I wasn't expecting to get jumped that hard. I really wasn't. And I wasn't prepared for it. I'm surprised that I was able to get out of that location. I would consider that a bit of luck. Alright, so I guess we have to go back to where we came from. Back this way. Was it this way? I got myself all turned around now. Eric, right, down this way maybe, to the south. Let's go back down here. And then back down this way. Here we go. Now I know where I'm going. At least I think I do. Yeah. Potion. You know, at this point, I'm not going to complain about having a lot of potions because I burn them. Alright, skeleton dead. Let's get up the stairs here. appear to be anything of value up here. Got myself trapped in a corner there. Come on, get around. Yep, nothing of value in this little area here. Just kind of wasted my time, other than getting some XP. Zombie. We'll eventually find the way down, my friends. Let's just trudge along. That's just a barrel. Let's go ahead and smash it. The nice thing about barrels, as I said in the first video, is that you can find some useful stuff in them. 
least once in a while you can. I think they're worth smashing. Apparently that was a little mini boss. I can't carry anymore. And apparently my inventory is full. A dull fire ember. Leather van bracers. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stuff we've collected. Since we kind of don't have a choice at the moment. With the inventory being full and all. So let's see. Cracked ember. Cracked ember. Deadly chaos gem. Health potions. Steel hammer. Send to the dog. That'll get sold. A bow. That can go. Unidentified pistols. I don't use guns, but that can get sold. That can get sold. Quarterstaff. I don't use staves. They're nice, but I don't need them. Other jack boots. And plus two to magic attack. No. go. A charged scepter. Charged scepter is 42 base damage, one-handed. 22 to 44 electrical damage. Slow attack speed. I don't know. Not worth it. If it were a magical scepter, then okay, I'd be pretty happy, but it's just a base scepter. Care less about a hand axe. Here we go, magical charge scepter. Electric electrical damage of 24 to 48. It's slow attack speed. Plus three electrical damage. And if we compare that to my wand. This does 9 to 18 electrical damage plus 10, so that makes it 19 to 28. But it also has a fire damage proc on it. We're going to keep mine. Yeah, mine is actually a better item. Alright, now we should be able to pick up our spoils here. And let's continue on. Pick up some gold. We have ourselves some kind of a golem boss here. doesn't look like my ice attack phases him. So let's try the energy bolt. Let's back off. Just 
mana. Nice, we dropped him. That guy takes a beating. He has a lot of life. Let's see what he was guarding up here. Whoa! Was not expecting that. Killed this guy. Looks like a treasure room. Not going to complain about free treasure. Now we see what he was guarding. These guys are vicious. Let's get another imp out. I really, one thing that I hope they add into Torchlight 2 is that you don't know how much life your summoned minions have. You can see your dog's life, which is fine and well. What about my extra guys? I mean, you really don't know how much life they have. You don't know how long they've got on their timer. They, you know, if they live, they live. If they die, they die. But you really would like to know these things so you know when you need to start summoning more. It's definitely a feature that they should consider for uh, the next torchlight. Ooh, poison damage. That's no fun. Back up, back up, back up. There we go. That was cutting it close. In fact, I'm almost dead. 